Okay, uh, so we know how to read the property tables if it is a saturated liquid, just the subscript F values. We know how to use property tables if it's a saturated vapor, the subscript G properties. That, that'd be too, that's too easy for you. All right, so you're, you're going to like those problems. Oh, those are easy. Just read the property tables here. What if it is a mixture? What if is it in between the two? What if the pure substance is vaporizing, all right, and some of that liquid becomes vapor, all right? Uh, what happens is the whole mixture doesn't slowly vaporize at the same, you know, at the same rate. It's like some of the molecules will go straight from liquid to vapor. Then a little bit more will go straight from liquid to vapor. And and the, the molecules are going from liquid to vapor. Um, and the properties of the saturated liquid are still... The, the properties of the saturated liquid. You know, the properties of saturated vapor are um, still the properties of the saturated vapor, all right? But for convenience, for convenience, we are going to assume that the mixture does slowly go from point 0.2, right here, point 0.2 to point 0.4, right? Saturated liquid with its properties to a saturated vapor with its properties. And so for convenience, we're going to find the, the average property and say that it's, it slowly goes from 2 to 4, right? It slowly goes from 2 to 4. Let's read that in our notes. So for convenience, the mixture can be treated, though, even though it's not, it can be treated as a homogeneous mixture that has property in between the... F property and the G property, right? So, so what really is what what is really true is that it has some liquid at the saturated liquid properties and some vapor at the saturated vapor properties. But we're going to assume that it's homogeneous at properties in between liquid and vapor, all right? At properties in between liquid and vapor. So, for instance, let's look at specific volume V, for example. The, the um, average specific volume would be, you know, a little bit of the saturated liquid and a little bit of the saturated vapor properties. You know, some of it is at VF, some of it is at VFG. Well, if we just kind of take the ratio that's at Vf. Let's take the mass that is still liquid over the total. You know, let's take the mass that is still liquid over the total mass. For example, maybe maybe it's 0.25, 25% of the mass is still liquid. So we take 0.25 times the uh, specific, uh, the saturated liquid property, and we take 0.75 times the, the saturated vapor property, or we would take the, the ratio of gas over the total times the VG, so like 0.75, right? Like when you're like a weighted average, when you are uh, calculating your grade, you know, 25% of this one plus 75% of that one would give me my overall average, all right? Uh, so this is the percent... This is the percent of the mass that is still saturated liquid. This is the percent of mass that is still saturated vapor. All right? That's one way to do it. That's one way to do it. But uh, let's, do it so, let's, let's think of an easier, mathematical, mathematically easier way uh, to do that same thing. And so... That's going to get us to quality. Quality tells, kind of tells us how far along it is in transforming from all liquid to all vapor. You know, quality would tell us how far along it is in transferring to vapor. We need something to tell us how far along the saturated liquid vapor line we are under the dome. So, for instance, if this whole thing is one, then are we halfway, you know, at a quality of 0.5. That last that the last scenario, we were at a quality of 0.75. Do you see this right here? We were at a quality of 0.75. 
75% of the mass is now vapor, whereas only 25% of the mass is liquid. And so quality is, you know, how far along? Are we at 0 0.25, 0 0.1, uh, 0.5, you know, are we at 0.9 over here? Uh, quality X is mass of the vapor over mass total, right? Quality is mass vapor over mass total, right? Know that, write that down, quality. Quality is mass of the vapor over mass total. It's not mass vapor over mass liquid. It's not mass liquid over mass total. It is how much vapor do we have? Mass vapor over mass total. Mass, not volume. Sometimes they uh, try to throw you a curveball and they tell you, hey, the vapor, its volume takes up 75%. The liquid's volume only takes up 25%. No, 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 no. Mass, quality is mass. All right. What, what do you think you might do if they gave you volumes? You might kind of need to use specific volumes to change those to masses. We need mass. All right, so if we have quality, let's do a little bit of math right here. Let's do a little bit of math right here. If this is X right here, let's go back right here. It's not going to be too bad. Then this is X times VG. This right here is not X. It's actually 1 minus X VF. So V average equals 1 minus X times VF plus X times VG. Distribute this VF minus X VF plus X VG. We know that VFG is VG minus VF. Group those together. Fact out the X. Here we go. V average is equal to VF plus X VFG. That is the equation. In addition to knowing that the quality is mass vapor over mass total, this is what we need to box in, memorize, put on your formula sheet that V average of a mixture, a liquid vapor mixture, would be VF plus the quality times VFG. Does that make sense? Let's look here mathematically. Here are my axes. Here are my axes down here. If I want to know this value right here, does it make sense that I would take this VF and then I would add X times VFG? Do you see that VFG would be the total distance from here to here? And so I'm, I'm just taking the quality times the total length. So my actual value right here would be VF, which is that value, plus X VFG. Just think about the X is how far along we are. Uh, so let, let me write this down. V average is VF plus X VFG. Does that make sense? If, if, if I've got a mixture and a lot of it is starting to vaporize, then my average property would be where I started from plus how far along all these things that are changing by this much. All right. Okay. V, so the average property of a mixture is VF plus X VFG. So, so U would be UF plus X UFG. H of a mixture would be HF plus X HFG. All right. You, you don't have to write all three of those on your formula sheet. You know, you, if you write one, then, then you know that it's the same for all the other properties. S, I, I think, uh, if we do entropy, SF plus X SFG. All right. Okay, so let's practice. Let's put that into practice next.